hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video I'm actually gonna show you how to use ingress controller to redirect your web traffic to different applications running in your cluster now this topic might be familiar to you if you are already subscribed to my channel and uh, if you are new then let's take a look Okay, the first thing you need is an EKS cluster. For that, I recommend you to actually watch this video. I'll just show you like how it looks. So this particular video, um, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create uh, an EKS cluster. So just follow that and you'll have an EKS cluster. All you need is, a, is an AWS account. Second step is basically once you have the cluster up and running, um, you should have configured some node groups which have one or more worker nodes running. So I'm going to show you how it looks. In my case, I have only one worker node. Okay, so you might have two if you I think in the video they tell you to create two worker nodes which is okay all right now the next step is to actually deploy an ingress controller and I always go with this nginx ingress controller because I found it very easy to deploy and use actually so basically a little bit of googling will get you to this this url where you can actually find this particular yaml file which you can use to deploy uh, an ingress controller but this one as it says it's actually based on a network load balancer there are other ways to do it but for now i'm going to keep it simple and just take this uh, file and run a deploy basically kubectl apply and it's just the, the deploy command it's going to deploy ingress nginx and it's sort of customized for deployment in aws okay and this creates a bunch of resources now let me show you what's deployed in this namespace which just got created and in fact if you want to see the services you see it created actually an ingress controller service which is of load balancer type and it created an uh, a load balancer for us so if i take you to my aws account and look at the load balancers you will see the the load balancer service in here I hope that looks clear but basically it's being provisioned now let's go see what else are our steps okay so I'm gonna deploy some applications um, let me show you how does my application look it's a simple deployment based on if you look at my spec so the front end number one front end one deployment is based on httpd container and front end two deployment is based on nginx container or uh, nginx image okay so this one's based on httpd image this one's based on nginx image okay so deployments are not enough because we need uh, some services to redirect traffic so we are also going to create services like a kubernetes service it's of cluster ip type and we're going to uh, so this one's actually for front end one front end one service okay the selector is as you can see it's front end one and we have uh, similarly we have a front end two service uh, it's pretty much the same as front end one but basically front end one services for front end one deployment front end two services for front end two deployment so let's go ahead and do this what i did was i copied all these uh, uh manifests into this application.yaml so i'm just going to deploy this one that should deploy all the uh deployment and services that we that we need actually 
application so it creates two deployments and two services all good now we need to create a class uh, called ingress class basically say is actually the name of the class is nginx class and then it and then we're, we're using this type of ingress engine con uh, controller so we're going to be using this class so let's go ahead and create it group serial apply ingress class okay so we have a class finally the most important part is the rules where you if you type this url this looks more realistic right so if you use this url it takes you to front end one service and this url will take you to front end two service and as httpd and nginx um, you know which are basically our deployments our applications are part of the url itself right so and it what I did was I went to route 53 I went to route 53 and I registered a domain you can go here as you can see I registered a domain called execute on command dot click all you need to do is just go to click this button and you put the domain name you want in the dot com or dot net um, and you can actually find a website or domain that's available so I already did that um, once you find the domain then you need to put your contact details and verify it through your email and once your domain becomes available then you can basically go to the next step in my document so what we have done so far is We've done, uh, we've created an EKS cluster by following this video and it should set up your local workstation as well if you follow that video carefully. It basically, it creates the worker nodes for you. We've deployed Nginx controller and then we deployed the application which is basically a couple of deployments and a couple of Kubernetes services of cluster IP type. Then we've created an English ingress class and let's actually deploy the rule the ingress rule as well do a kubectl apply ingress so that would be my rule so that's created right so now finally the route 53 part and I as I showed you you registered the domain you verify it and then if you go to your hosted zones then go into the domain that you just created and what you need to do is you need to create a record in your hosted zones okay so i am actually going to put hashtag or star over here basically to say i want to redirect all the sub subdomains of this particular domain to my load balancer and for that i'm going to i'm going to enable this al alias thing and then the record type is going to be a routes traffic to ipv4 address or some aws resource in our case it's going to be an aws resource so it's going to be a load balancer a network load balancer right because that's what we basically created using this file okay so now i'm going to choose the region where my load balancer is which is us west 2 and finally it should the load balancer should show up here and i don't need this target health check and then i'm just going to create a record okay so basically let's create a record and it takes a few seconds i think it might work now so let's go ahead and test it out so first i want to go to my nginx uh, domain and that looks like this 
nginx start execute on command dot click and that takes you to the nginx application and the web page the default web page that is running inside the application and if i change it to httpd it goes to the httpd application right so we basically ran two different applications and we used the ingress rules to redirect our web traffic uh, the, you know to an application according to the subdomain in the in the url right all right i hope that was useful and i will see you guys with another video please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you